Okay, so I'm at the start of the Mount Judah track. Pissing it down when I got here. There's been a lot of rain, so I'm not sure how it's going to be crossing the Buckler Burn. We'll see. Rain stopped just for long enough to entice me out of the car and then it hoofed it down. So I'm drenched. See if I can get to the top part, which is Macintosh Hut, before dark. I just need to find the safest place to cross. I've got a couple of options and I'll just see how it goes. Oh, I'm across. Cool. Well, I made it up in the piercing rain. I'm soaked. Top to bottom, completely drenched. Might clear up. Looks like I'm going to have it to myself. It's quite an old hat. But yeah, pretty cool. Even a pillow. Oh, I've been in the hut for 20 minutes and it is pretty much completely cleared and stopped raining. Which I'm happy about, but also really annoyed because I'm completely drenched. <laughs> oh well, at least I got a view. It's the morning and I was hoping for sunshine so I can dry my stuff out, but I'm in the cloud. And so it looks like I'm probably just going to be waiting until the cloud fucks off and then taking off. Still waiting. I'm diving in and out of the inversion. So I'm just on uh, clothes drying duty. I've got my shorts drying over there. I'm drying my boots and my socks. That's why I'm walking around in my boxer shorts. Not a bad view now though. Now I'm out the cloud. And I'm gonna launch from probably just up there. All right, started clearing up, quarter past one. So I'm gonna give it a bit more time. Gonna wait for it to look a bit better. I have now lowered my expectations of the flight. There are some cumulus building here and there just not very high so i'm gonna wait for them to get a bit higher i think if i take off now i'll just end up landing at the bottom it's quite late what time is it half three it's been windy and not very good so yeah just gonna take off and see what happens might be just a case of getting back to the car but we see there's been plenty of low cloud around Kind of just ridge soaring here. Not really much going on on this ridge. And there was a bit of wind up there. There's quite a bit of northwest around. I've only got about 5Ks of ground speed at times. Um, so I'm kind of just ridge soaring on Macintosh. I don't know what the plan is. Maybe I'll push around that corner. Decided to push up wind. I don't know how this is going to go. I'm hoping I can get onto the windward side of that and then soar my way up it, but might not work. It didn't really work, I was just getting nailed in sync. Plenty of wind up high. It looks like there's no wind down low, so... Yeah, I'm not too worried about the landing, but... There's a good 30k wind up there. I mean, it was enough for me to just ridge saw backwards and forwards and... Probably end up landing near the car. Oh well, doesn't always go to plan. Doesn't look too bad from down here and it certainly looks good up on the Humboldt, but right where I was, there was quite a bit of wind um, and not really any thermals. It was kind of just all, yeah, it was just kind of ridge soaring. And then I tried to push to the next hill and just couldn't really connect and hit southerly on the way back to the car. Yeah, just wrong place, I think. Waited a long part of the day for the clouds to clear and then it was just a short flight down in the end. But hey ho, such is life. <laughs> 